Hey, this is Nat, and we're off our couch in St. Augustine, Florida, a city located in Northeast Florida that continually attracts tens of thousands of visitors annually. People come to St. Augustine from all over to marvel at the amazing architecture, historical landmarks, rousing pirate accounts, rich ghost history, and gorgeous waterfront views. With so much to see and enjoy in this city, you can easily spend a lot of time exploring and a lot of money too. But no worries, I am here to help with a few money saving tips and I'm sharing five of my favorite and free experiences to enjoy here in St. Augustine. A great place to start is the Visitor Information Center. At the Visitor Information Center, obviously there's information available about local attractions, restaurants, discounts, and coupons that can be used to plan your time here. But you may not realize that there are also exhibits within the center that are free of charge. While you're gathering information and discounts for your trip, educate yourself on the history of the city. Sometimes there are also rotating exhibits that may be on display. Bonus tip, the center is air conditioned, so come in to take a break from the heat while enjoying the history and facts the exhibits have to offer. The education continues outside of the visitor center as well with historically rich artifacts. As you take in the surroundings, you'll easily discover that a lot has occurred over the years in this amazing city. Spanish colonization, pirate raids, sieges, battles, civil rights demonstrations, and other historical events. And you can learn a lot about all of this history just by walking the streets of St. Augustine. Historical markers and statues are everywhere in this city. You can even find historical information plastered on buildings, churches, and storefronts, which is why I recommend checking out these various historical markers as a way to enjoy St. Augustine without spending a dollar. Take your time as you walk the streets. While you're admiring the scenery and the architecture, discover some of the notorious events that have taken place in this city and left an impressionable mark upon history. This free experience will leave you with a wealth of knowledge and money still in your pocket. And while you're out walking, head over to the Castillo de San Marcos National Monument for a cost-free pastime. Yes, there is a cost to enter the National Monument, but there is no charge to walk the grounds of the fort. While walking around the fort, you will enjoy astonishing views of the exterior walls of the fort, as well as Mantanzas Bay and you'll also see more historical markers. Yes, there's more to read here, but if you're more of a visual person, then you'll appreciate all of the weapons on display. Also, I recently discovered that there are self-guided walking tours available on the National Park's website and app, which provide details concerning the interior and the exterior of the fort. This is really a great place to just enjoy a beautiful sunny day as well. Have a picnic on the grounds, fly a kite, toss a frisbee, or take a walk along the bay. There's plenty of space and it's a great way to spend an afternoon without having to dip into your vacation budget. A really cool thing about St. Augustine is that a visit just doesn't consist of seeing sights from the past but the past often comes alive thanks to the many reenactors you'll see in the streets of downtown St. Augustine. I have seen Spanish soldiers and pirates on many occasions, which is why I recommend the reenactor sightings as a free experience to enjoy while in the city. Keep your eyes open and have your children look out too. I actually think this is a great way to get your kids involved and interested during the trip. Besides random sightings, the website 
visit staugustine.com, list scheduled reenactments of battles and events, which are oftentimes free of charge. While walking through the downtown historic district, you may run into City Gate Distillery. And if you like to drink and enjoy saving money like yours truly, then free tastings are the way to go. Make your way over to City Gate Distillery and enjoy St. Augustine's first legal moonshine along with varieties of rum, vodka, and whiskey inspired by the flavors of Florida. At some stations, you're offered a shot straight from the bottle, and at other stations, you get to try a mixed cocktail. Either way, you are sampling a variety of local quality spirits. Tips are welcome, and if you do decide to take a bottle home with you, they are priced at $25. And if you decide to enjoy multiple bottles, discounts are available. And I can tell you from personal experience, this is money well spent. My favorites are sweet tea vodka and limoncello. My husband and I have actually tried a few different bottles and we enjoyed them all. And I hope you enjoyed this list I compiled of five fun, interesting, and free experiences to enjoy while in the historic district of St. Augustine. Hopefully all or some of these experiences will be a benefit to you as you plan your trip. Luckily, these are not my only tips though. I have more free and interesting experiences while here in St. Augustine that I will share in an upcoming video. In the meanwhile, feel free to share in the comments your favorite activities to enjoy at no cost while exploring this unique city. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to catch us on our next outing, and click on the video to see one of our other experiences in St. Augustine. Thanks for watching.